In this video, we'll be learning how to solve equations with distributive property. In this equation, 3 times the quantity of x plus 6 equal to 24, we see that we have parentheses around a variable and a constant. This shows that any time that we see a number on the outside of the parentheses, it's asking us that we need to distribute this 3 to each of the terms on the inside of the equation or inside of the parentheses. So 3 times x gives us 3x, and 3 times a positive 6 would give us a positive 18. Everything else we go ahead and bring down. Just a little helpful hint, keeping our equal signs in line with each other helps us be a lot more organized when we are solving an algebraic equation. Our next step is we see our goal of isolating our variable x. And so we see a 3 attached to the x, as well as we see a positive 18 attached to the x. Our goal is to find the inverse of each of those numbers and I'll show you how. So the opposite or the inverse of a positive 18 is a negative 18. 18 minus 18 is 0. Or 18 plus a negative 18 is 0. And what I do on the left-hand side, I have to equal out both sides. And so I'm going to subtract or add a negative 18 to the right-hand side as well. So when we go ahead and simplify, we are going to bring down our 3x. 18 plus a negative 18 gives us 0 equals. Then we have 24 minus 18 is 6. Now, ultimately, our x is still not by itself. And so I ask, well, how is this 3 attached to the x? And it's attached through multiplication. And the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by my coefficient. The coefficient is the number in front of the variable. I'm going to divide by 3, and I'm going to do that to both sides as well. 3 divided by 3 is 1, giving me 1x equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. Therefore, x equals 2 is my answer. So let's go ahead and check that answer. It's always good to check your equations because you will know that you got it absolutely correct when you check your work. So if I get my pen here, I see that I go 3 times, I thought that was going to be in black, we'll have our parentheses for our variable, plus 6 equals 24. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in this 2. This 2 is going to go on the inside right here to plug in where the x was. And so I look at 2 plus 6 is 8. I'm going to rewrite that 3. I can't forget to bring down that 3. Bring down my equal sign and equals 24. So 3 times 8 is 24. And it's equal to 24. And yes, that checks. And we are good to go. So once again, remember that we need to distribute get rid of our parentheses. Next, we're going to isolate our variable to get our variable by itself by finding the inverse operation of those numbers that are attached to that variable. And then as always, we want to check our work at the end to verify that we have the correct answer. Mm -hmm.